Why is PP at the bottom of the hierarchy of controls? I know this one. All right, I'll let you me, go first. Well, to me, you're still dependent on a person to get and wear the correct PPE for it to be effective. So, ah, so that's the misconception. Uh, okay, you stole my thunder. <laughs> go ahead, explain it to me. Tell him. me why I'm wrong. PPE is at the bottom because at that point, the hazard is not in control. Yeah, you're it, not in control of the hazard. You're not in control of the hazard. Yeah. So I it's your last line you, of defense. Is, I agree with you. It does depend on a human to put it on, but but that's why I think it's at the bottom is that hazard is now uncontained. Because when it is effective, it's, the hazard's already released. It's exactly. like too late. Yep. I get it. I it's, get it. It's, 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 so it's a last protective layer, and it's not yeah. controlling the energy. It's preventing harm, right. essentially. And so a lot of people think the same thing you do, though, Marcus, where it was like, well, it's, it relies on a person. So every safeguard... Every safeguard relies on people and relies on a management system to maintain it. 